Kevin Klein, a seasoned actor whose career spans decades, has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. For many, the first recognition of Klein's talent may be difficult to pinpoint, considering his versatile roles in both comedy and drama. Whether it was in a standout performance or a subtle yet impactful role, audiences across generations have come to appreciate his contribution to the silver screen. The question of which work by Kevin Klein resonates the most is a subjective one, as his filmography boasts a rich tapestry of characters. From comedic gems to profound dramas, each film offers a unique glimpse into Klein's ability to seamlessly embody diverse roles. Holding a particular work closest to one's heart often reveals a personal connection to the themes and emotions conveyed by this accomplished actor. As fans reflect on their cherished memories or personal experiences related to Kevin Klein's performances, a diverse tapestry of stories is likely to emerge. Perhaps it was a moment of laughter induced by one of his comedic roles or a scene in a dramatic film that left a lasting emotional imprint. In the realm of classic Hollywood actors, Kevin Klein stands as a stalwart, his impact transcending eras and resonating with audiences worldwide. We invite you to share your stories and memories in the comments below moments that capture the essence of Kevin Klein's artistry and the influence he has had on your cinematic journey. Let the narratives unfold and celebrate the enduring legacy of this distinguished actor. Kevin Klein, a seasoned actor, has showcased his versatility through a notable career. One intriguing aspect is his portrayal of dual roles in three films, Dave, Wild Wild West, and Fierce Creatures. In each instance, one character assumes the identity of the other, highlighting Klein's ability to navigate complex roles. Another interesting facet of Klein's life involves his relationship with Phoebe Cates. The two met during auditions for The Big Chill, where Cates vied for the role of Chloe. Although she didn't secure the part, it marked the beginning of a relationship that eventually led to marriage. Beyond the silver screen, Kevin Klein has left a significant mark on Broadway, earning three Tony Awards. His wins span different categories, Best Actor in 1978 for On the 20th Century, Best Actor in 1981 for The Pirates of Penzance, a role he reprised in the 1983 film adaptation, and Best Actor in 2017 for Present Laughter. Notably, he also received a nomination in 2004 for his portrayal of Sir John Falstaff in Shakespeare's Henry IV. These accomplishments underscore Klein's prowess in both film and theater, showcasing a career marked by depth and range. From dual roles on the big screen to Tony-winning performances on Broadway, Kevin Klein continues to be a force in the world of entertainment. Kevin Klein's journey into the world of acting began at Indiana University, where he initially majored in music for two years before making a pivotal switch to drama. This decision laid the foundation for his future success. Klein joined the inaugural class of John Hausman's new drama division at Lincoln Center's Juilliard School, later becoming a founding member of Hausman's renowned The Acting Company. Notably, Klein holds a distinct place in cinematic history as one of the few actors to receive an Academy Award for a comedic role. His memorable performance in A Fish Called Wanda earned him this prestigious accolade, showcasing his versatility and skill in bringing humor to the forefront of his craft. Beyond his on-screen achievements, Kevin Klein's contributions to the entertainment industry were further honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This recognition, located at 7000 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California, was bestowed upon him on December 3, 2004, underscoring his lasting impact on the world of film and theater. From his early days at Juilliard to comedic brilliance on the silver screen and a star on Hollywood Boulevard, Kevin Klein's journey is a testament to his multifaceted talent and enduring legacy in the entertainment realm. The record bar in Clayton, Missouri, owned by Kevin Klein's father, wasn't just a store, it was a backdrop to the actor's early life. Growing up amidst toys and records, Klein's journey into the world of acting began at Indiana University, where he initially pursued music before a pivotal switch to drama. This decision laid the foundation for his future success, eventually leading him to become a founding member of the acting company under John Hausman's guidance. Klein's versatility isn't confined to the screen. Beyond acclaimed roles in films like A Fish Called Wanda and Dave, he holds a unique place in cinematic history as one of the few actors to receive an Academy Award for a comedic role. His impact stretches to the stage, earning three Tony Awards, and in 2004, he was inducted into the Theatre Hall of Fame. 
Closer to Home, the Kevin Klein Awards, initiated in 2006, honor his St. Louis roots. Born and raised in the city, these awards celebrate outstanding achievements in professional theater, recognizing talent in over 20 categories in the greater St. Louis area. Kevin Klein's journey from the record bar to Hollywood and Broadway is a testament to his multifaceted talent and enduring legacy in the entertainment realm. Fluent in French, Kevin Klein's career is a tapestry woven with diverse accomplishments. From his early days at St. Louis Priory School, where the theater bears his name, to winning an Obie Award for his role in The Pirates of Penzance, Klein's journey unfolds with linguistic prowess and theatrical triumphs. Beyond the spotlight, his linguistic fluency adds a layer to his multifaceted persona. The St. Louis-born actor, known for his Tony Awards and Academy recognition, seamlessly bridges linguistic and artistic boundaries. Whether on stage at his alma mater or gracing the Broadway scene, Klein's legacy is one of linguistic finesse and thespian excellence. Kevin Klein, a versatile actor with a rich career, holds a bachelor's degree in speech and theater from Indiana University in Bloomington, Indiana. While many recognize his feature debut in Sophie's Choice, his earlier completion of The Pirates of Penzance faced delays in release. This allowed with Sophie's Choice to hit theaters first, marking a unique aspect of Klein's filmography. A noteworthy observation by movie critic Roger Ebert is the Kevin Klein mustache principle. Ebert highlighted Klein's consistent use of facial hair in comedies, but a clean-shaven appearance in dramatic roles. Despite a few exceptions like In and Out and Wild Wild West, where he played President Ulysses S. Grant with facial hair, this principle adds an interesting layer to Klein's approach to his roles. These aspects, coupled with his foundation in theater, showcase Kevin Klein's ability to navigate diverse roles in both film and stage. The journey from earning his degree to establishing unique principles in his craft illustrates the depth and variety in Klein's acting career. Graduating from the St. Louis Priory School in St. Louis, Missouri in 1965, Kevin Klein's journey into the world of acting took root early in his life. From his formative years surrounded by toys and records at the record bar owned by his father to his decision to switch from pursuing music to drama at Indiana University, Klein's path unfolded with a series of pivotal choices. His versatility, not confined to the silver screen, extends to the stage where he became a founding member of the acting company. Klein's impact reaches beyond accolades and awards evident in his induction into the Theater Hall of Fame in 2004. The Kevin Klein Awards, initiated in 2006 in his St. Louis hometown, further underscore his lasting influence on professional theater. Notably, Klein's career boasts linguistic finesse, with fluency in French adding a layer to his multifaceted persona. His journey from St. Louis Priory School, where the theater bears his name, to winning an Obie Award for the Pirates of Penzance reflects linguistic prowess and theatrical triumphs. Away from the spotlight, an intriguing aspect of Klein's filmography is the Kevin Klein mustache principle, noted by movie critic Roger Ebert. This principle, highlighting Klein's consistent use of facial hair in comedies versus a clean-shaven appearance in dramatic roles, adds an interesting layer to his approach to acting. From his featured debut in Sophie's Choice to establishing unique principles in his craft, Klein's acting career showcases depth and variety. As a testament to his enduring legacy, this article delves into the formative years, impactful choices, and distinctive elements that define Kevin Klein's remarkable career.